I'll say that again. In order to be a closely knit group of believers, there has to be a measure of compression or pressure that takes place in our lives that melds us and molds us together. Which means I've got to actually go through a hard time with you for me to really know that you with me and I'm with you. Right. It's got to be something that would have otherwise run you off that you decided, nope, I'm too connected to leave. I, I got I to gotta deal with it. God help me. Uh, back on you digging this black. Mm, you just, just do your spiritual weightlifting tonight. All right. Um, on, on, on Sunday, God, God allowed me by his grace to, to share some things that I, I wasn't even necessarily comfortable with, but I had to do what the Lord was saying, telling me to do. Now, uh, there was a season in digging his black's life uh, that it didn't matter if it was me or whomever uh, that really would have dealt with, because uh, digging his black is like she can really pull almost like a mother hen sometimes. She ain't really, you know, don't, don't mess with the, the babies. You know, they, they okay. No, they not. They janky. No, they okay. You know, I, I don't see no janky. See, so we, we thank God for it. But God allowed for me to deal with, with that one sitting in the corner over there on the side. Um, and I ain't feel this like I'm going to bite you. <laughs> you know, I ain't feel the mama bear. Yes, sir. I'm like, oh, something free. happened. Yeah, I'm free. She she didn't been through enough mm. that oh. it really don't matter. I'm like, hold on, this this is amazing. What's happening in the spirit yeah. that she says, check this out. I'm compacted to my past. Yeah. Get on. Mm. That that even <laughs> though I want to call off the attack that's on my son. Mm. Because I've been with him, I'm connected to him. I know he ain't gonna do nothing or say nothing to hurt him, but it's gonna make him better. Love, uh -huh. that's good, sir. Mm. So, if there had not been a compacting, bigger than black could have been looking at me side eyes for the next three months. If there hadn't been, I've been through it already. We good. Let's go forward. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I got to go through. It's got to be in whatever shape and whatever way it may be, and I don't believe it's going to be nothing negative, but I'm just saying even in the lives of us, in order for us to really connect as a bond, there's going to have to be a pressure that's put that forces you mm -hmm. together. It's a pressure that compacts you that says even though I ain't really feeling it today, I'm still going to show up. Because I'm connected and I'm knit in. That if I don't show up, not only am I missing, it's also a part of me that's missing. Mm -hmm. So he says, this is the design. That the body is fitly framed together, fitly framed together, fitly joined together. It's like a puzzle. It comes together. Then it's pressure. Um, but listen to what the pressure does. It says, even though it's compacted together, Minister Black, mm -hmm. every joint is supplying yes. the pressure. Mm. <laughs> so that means the black family is putting pressure on the Hinton family, and the Hinton family is putting pressure on the black family so that when there comes a situation, we can find a supply in each other in a tough time. Mm -hmm. That's good, sir. And God said, that's how I want the church to look. That everybody that's connected to Bethel Temple Faith Church, that whenever there's pressure put on the church, it's pressure also put on you because you feel the connection that says I've been through it already, that now what's in me got to connect with what's in pastor, first lady, the minister, so that we can let this supply each other. Mm -hmm. Every joint supply according to the effectual working or the effectiveness in the measure of every part. So what does that mean? That means that even the pressure, Brother Kenan, that's coming on the body, we're supplying each other because we're connected, and the only way we're capable of supplying each other is because each part has chosen to be its part the best way it can be. It's chosen to be at optimal efficiency in what they're called to do. That's how we gain strength. That if, if, if Sister Lipscomb is called to, uh, to, to pray, she's going to pray to the best of her ability because that's where the church will gain strength through this compacting time. If Minister Black is called to uh, work this camera, 
uh, what he's going to do, he's going to work this camera to the best of his ability because he understands that me being the most effective at this time helps the pressure in melding us together. Yes, Pastor don't have to worry about, uh, 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 is the camera going to be here? Or, you know, uh, is somebody going to be able to pray? Is somebody going to be here to do this? Because if I take <clears throat> my part and I'm effective in my part, it supplies everything that the body needs as it's being melted together. So he says, everybody's doing their part, they're working the measure of every part, increases, make, excuse me, make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. So as we all do our parts effectively, the body now begins to grow. And as the body grows, mm -hmm. the only thing that's keeping it all together is love. Mm -hmm. So he says, we all do our part. Pressure comes. We supply each other in the tough time. We do what we got to do in an effective way. It then is going to allow this thing to spread to others, that the body itself will begin to grow. But it's all centered around the force called love. That everybody is doing what they're doing, not because of anything other than the fact that I love the person that's sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. And I love the person that's sitting on the other side of me. Mm -hmm. And I love the person that's across from me. And if I keep love as the center, the pressure, that's the pressure I'm putting on, is love. I'm, keep, I'm pouring love in. I'm pouring love in. And every joint is connecting to this love. And we're feeding off of that. And we're moving forward. And as we move, we're picking up people. It's like a snowball. When the snowball start off small, but as that thing start rolling, it's picking up other snow, and it's becoming this huge ball. But the minute the, the momentum is disrupted, the growth stops. So he says what we've got to do to keep the, memo, the momentum going is to keep love about it. As love is there, it keeps the ball turning. When love slacks, growth slacks. And it slows, and it slows, and it slows, and then it starts to decompose. Because love stopped driving. Mm -hmm. And then you got to say, all right, we got to pick membership back up. We got up to 300. Now we're down to two. Not 200, no. two people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had 300. Now we're down to two folk. What happened? No. Love. Mm -hmm. So now we got to pick up the ball mm -hmm. and say, God, start with yes. two. Yeah. Let's get the love and start rolling again until we can get up and get up. And then when we get there this time, we got to make sure that love stays. Mm, yeah. And that's where your pastor comes in. Because pastor going to say, if y'all can't love, then you need to leave. I'm just going to be honest with you. Because the truth of the matter is, if you can't love your fellow brother, we can never grow. Mm -hmm. Not just numerically, we can't even grow spiritually. That's right. And I ain't going to preach no stale word because you got a salty face. I'm going to just say, well, look, until you get together, just go sit in the back or something. Because I, I don't want to really look at you while I got to preach. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look at that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Let it, no. Put Sister Lips come up here. Let her sit right here. Put First Lady. Sit, put Sister Williamson up here. I don't want to see, you know, that. Just then. Yeah. No, I don't need that right there. Because that's not helping the love to grow. All right. Um, Romans 15. I'm wrapping up. Romans 15. I'm going to do the first six verses. It speaks to unity that's needed in the body. Romans 15, Romans 15, first six verses, speaking to the unity of the body. We all are important. We talked about how we have to play our own role tonight. We have to keep that role under the covering of the church and under the vision of the leader. And that's the thing. As you go into Romans 15, I want to make sure I say this, that your gift, your gift, your gift has to match the vision of the house. Okay? You got to give, all right, let me, let me give you an example. I'll give you an example, all right? Pastor Henson, and, and it, it's, one, it's one guy out here that actually does, uh, I don't even know all this stuff, but I think my wife told me uh, that TJ even likes one of the songs this guy does. I think his name is uh, D1 or something like that. He's a Christian rapper, and uh, he's got this, this one song uh, about, you know, I'm not perfect or something, whatever. But him. All right, that one, that one rap that he does, I actually like it. Now, Pastor Hinton is not a Christian rap connoisseur, so to speak. That's just not really my, my thing. That's just not, not really my thing. So uh, if you got a gift, Brooke Kenny, that's, that's you, Brooke Kenny. Brooke Kenny said, well, Pastor, I really get it uh, from the standpoint of Christian rap. I'm going to say, well, Brooke Kenny, 
Let's have a little talk here. Now, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. I, I'm not. I'm not. Talk. I'm not opposed to 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 what you do. You know, if you you got some things that you're, you're doing, um, I just don't really know if that's what I want at this moment at Bethel Temple Faith Church. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go do what you do as long as under the covering and the guise of the Lord and he's leading you and opening doors for you out here in the community and doing things of that nature. You go full throttle. You know, if, you, if you're a member of the church, I would tell you, you can even tell them what church you go to. You know, let them know. But right now, um, I don't think I want you to really come up and drop a verse on Sunday morning. Yeah, I'm just, I just got, hadn't graduated me to that level yet. Uh, and he very well may at some given point in time in the future as y'all continue to pray. But uh, <laughs> right now, that just doesn't match with the vision. That doesn't mean you're not gifted. That, that doesn't mean you can't be a member. That doesn't mean you can't serve in the church. It's just that I don't expect you to go behind my back and say, I'm going to rap anyway because this is my skill. Y'all feel what I'm saying? You still got the gift, you got the talent, but if it doesn't match the vision, you just can't use it here. Right. Y'all, are y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, so that's the thing about gifts, that when God connects you, you know, and, and, if, and if, if God uses Brooke Keenan to be someone to introduce me to what is really, because this, this is my thing, and I didn't mean to get on this tangent, but this is my thing about, about Christian rap. Nine times out of ten, I don't even understand what they're saying. So if I can't understand what you're saying, why are you saying it? <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? Very clear. <laughs> if I, and unclear. Right. If, if, I, if, I don't, if I don't know what you're saying, you can be cussing. And I don't even know. Mm-hmm. You know, you could be saying all kind of crazy stuff. You, you may be worshiping the devil, mm-hmm. saying Satan is God. And you know, you said it so quick. Everybody like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's not. You know, but, but that's the thing. So, you know, if I could, that's why I like that, that one song from that, that young man, because I can hear what he's saying. And what he's saying, it makes sense. And I'm like, that's good. You know, that's good. So if you're saying stuff and Pastor can hear it and he knows he can go back and say, oh, this boy, he was good. Then, yeah. You're sound. You sound. But if you a bunch of mama, 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 what is that? <laughs> you might want this to some Tupac or something. All right, here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Romans 15, Romans 15, verses 1 through 6. It says this, we then, and I'm wrapping up on this for you, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now the God of peace and consolation grant you, this is what he says, to be like-minded, one toward another, according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and with one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can close your Bible. I ain't going to go into no more scripture tonight. But the key is that in order for me to really effectively play my part within the body of Christ is I've got to be speaking the same thing as my leader. If I can't speak what my leader is speaking, then you really can't be a part of this body. Even when you're you're Christian, you're saved, you're only way to heaven, all that good stuff. But if you can't speak with one mouth the same thing your pastor is speaking, the same thing leadership is speaking, then you're not really part of this body. You're part of the body of Christ as large, yeah. But this body, because we speak a certain way. We, we don't, and, okay, what does that mean, Pastor? Thank you for saying it. All right, oh, for asking. That means Bethel Temple Faith Church members ought not be cussing. Amen. Amen. Right. So if Bethel Temple Faith Church, the leadership says profanity ought not be coming out of our mouth, if I know I'm still struggling with cussing, maybe I need to either ask God to deliver me or I need to consider looking somewhere else to be a member. Because if I'm cussing and my pastor not cussing, I can't praise God with one mouth. Mm-hmm. We got two different mouths. That's right. And your mouth is foul. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. It's, well, it's, it's just foul. It's yeah. just foul. And that, that's not it. If, if Bell Temple Faith Church says that we believe in holiness as it relates to our lifestyle, but, but you know you still like the club, well, what, what you may be saying is, 
Uh, God, until you deliver me, I don't really see how I can be a member there because we're not praising God the same way. Mm. I'm praising God lifting my hands. you praising God doing funny stuff on the dance floor. So we're not praising God the same way. So until we can praise God the same way with one mouth, one voice, one spirit, we can't be part of one body. So that's, that's what he's saying. He says that there, while the, the body of Christ at large, collective, people got different beliefs. And, you know, okay, I, I still don't understand how a church can say it's cool for you to club. But, okay, uh, if folk feel that and that's where they are, then you got a church now with a leader and the people that club. And if that's what they do, okay, uh, you know, all right. But Brett Kelly just ain't going to jump off here. You know, that's just, that's just not jumping here. So if, 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 if pastor, uh, whoever, feels like it's all right for you to drink on, on New Year's Eve, on your birthday, on Christmas, on your anniversary, and on Valentine's Day, then you go and get drunk with your pastor on those five special days. But Pastor Henry says, we ain't doing that here. Because with this mouth, it's not going to be intoxicated with alcohol. Yes, sir. And, and that's why, yes, <laughs> Minister Black, yes, you know, sir. God's going to have to bring folk here. Yeah. I already understand that. Yes, you know, we, we can talk, we can hand out flyers, we can that's give them ice talk. cream, we can do all kinds of stuff. But when they really sit down long enough, and they come for at least two weeks, yeah. and they hear that Pastor Hinton is not really like playing, right. then they'll probably say, eh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey. Yes, sir. I come check them out every now and then. Yes, week, sir. But, you too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That guy, he's a little too radical. <laughs> <laughs> they, they want excuses. Pastor, I can't go to the club at all. No, you can't go to the club. That guy. <laughs> all right. I mean, any questions? I'm, I'm, I'm done for it. Okay. Any questions? I, I, I'm trying, man. I, I, I'm trying. But we, I, just, I just want us to get it. You know, and this, this, this is the thing. You know, a lot of the stuff that, that we say, it's all Bible, though. It's, it's biblically sound. Mm -hmm. You know, we're supposed to be pure. So listen, we got to be pure.